back again with Mr. Dunphy here, and uh, what we're going to do is demonstrate how to get a negative inspiratory force through the servo eye ventilator. Again, you're not going to be able to measure the exact amount of pressure that the patient is doing, but you will be able to at least get an indication that it's greater than 20, and that's our bottom line for weaning on criteria. You want the patient to be able to pull in at least a minus 20. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll talk to our patient, explain what we're doing and why. Mr. Dunphy, this next test that we're going to do is going to measure how strong your breathing muscles are. That's important because whenever we take this tube off and take you off this ventilator, we want to make sure that you have the ability to take a deep breath and cough and clear your lungs, okay? Because if you don't, then that can set you up for all sorts of other problems after your surgery and everything. We don't want you to get pneumonia and all these other bad things as a result of not being able to keep your lungs clear, okay? So, now what's going to happen is, whenever I tell you to, we're going to do the test just like we did last time. When I tell you to, I want you to take a nice deep breath in, okay, as deep as you can. But whenever you start pulling in, you're going to feel like you can't get any air. But just keep pulling as hard as you can. At some point, you're going to feel like you can get that air in, and then you're going to get that breath. If you can't get the air in, then I'm going to disconnect you from this and reset the ventilator so that you will be able to breathe. Okay? So, main thing here is just, when I take you to, take that good, strong, deep breath in as you possibly can. All right? Okay. So, before we have him do that, we need to make sure that we have our our trigger sensitivity and pressure and we need to drop that down to a minus 20. Now as soon as I hit that accept that mode's going to kick in and he's going to have to breathe a minus 20 in order to get a spontaneous breath. Okay? So we'll watch this monitor very carefully as we're talking and coaching our patient. Okay. Alright Mr. Dunphy, we want you to pull in a nice deep breath. Pull hard as you can. Pull. There we go. Alright. Let it out. And then try to pull in one more time. Deep breath. Pull hard. There we go. There's another trigger. Okay. Now what we're going to do is disconnect him from the ventilator because it takes a little time for us to kind of get back, and I don't want him to be subjected to all that work. Put him back on the acceptable trigger, and then reconnect his ventilator and verify that he's on the proper settings that he's supposed to be on. Now he's... In the CPAP mode here, again, when you get finished with these tests, you always have to make sure that you go back and you put them in the proper tidal volume and where they're supposed to be on the, uh, on the ventilator. Okay, go back to their previous settings. Okay.